What I dream in the quiet hour. Sure that I love Hello by Laurie Illingworth. Welcome to another Music Future session filmed here at Confetti's Answer to Made, Avail Space 2 in Snenton. We're doing our best, as always, to showcase another amazing up and coming Nottingham artist. This one we've just successfully stolen off Derby. Result. We've got an interview with Laurie on the way. First, another song. I never ran up Never let 
What's the story? You've moved here to be part of the Nottingham music scene. What made you uh, make that decision? Yes, I have. Um, the reason why I've done that is because I was gigging in Nottingham anyway. So I'm originally from a town called Belper, which is mm -hmm. near Derby. Yeah, yeah. It's not too far away. Um, and for the past year or so, I've been traveling over to play gigs in various venues around Nottingham. Just wanted to save on bus fare then. Basically, well, it's, it <laughs> was really, really rent. depressing. Like at the end of the open mic night, people would be staying around, having drinks, you know, getting to know each other. Yep. And I'd just be like, train home, see you later. What's your first musical memory? Uh, my first musical memory, I'm just not going to answer that question because it's not technically a memory, but I know my first musical involvement, okay. which was literally the night I was born. Whoa. Um, not only was I supposedly born whilst in the background, uh, Walking in Memphis by Mark Cohn was, was being played. So cool I've always hospital. got some kind of affiliation with that song. Uh, also, my dad had a gig on the same night. So he, <laughs> he used to front a, um, like a, 10 to 15 piece rock and roll bands, like 50s and 60s That's things. A big band. Mainly because he looked a bit like Buddy Holly uh, and also because he could sing and play guitar as well. So he um, saw me in, <laughs> if you like, into the world and then jogged on and played a gig. So, um, and then beyond that, I guess I just started taking interest in music around about the age of six when I started playing the recorder. Uh, age nine, started playing the clarinet, played those for a number of years and then decided to broaden my musical interests, musical instrumentation and stuff a little bit older on. So. When did you first start writing your own songs? Uh, very recently actually, compared to when I started playing instruments and stuff. So oh. I've um, been playing the keyboard now, uh, piano, sorry, for about, I'd like to say about seven or eight years, maybe, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, but I've only been writing for the past year. So I started in, yeah, I started about a year ago. I guess, I guess the reason behind that is because I went and studied music at university up at York's and John University. Um, I had three great years there, but it was mainly based in, um, there was a lot of musical theory, a lot of uh, classical music actually yeah. involvement because I was, I was studying there on the clarinet. I thought I'd make full use of the facilities at the university. It's a beautiful old university. And I, uh, a good friend of mine, um, who you probably know, Joseph Knight, invited me to play a gig, support him at a gig um, in Belper, uh, in Derbyshire. Why? If you weren't playing well, No, I've, but I've always been performing, okay. but it's always been covers. Oh, so you're actually I was covers very much a cover screen. artist. Okay, right, yeah. so that's what the way you invite But the, the catch to that gig was, you've got to write a song and, and <laughs> sing it at the gig. So he literally bullied me into writing <laughs> a song. I sat at the piano for a good week and I came up with two songs and I played them on that night and they went down quite well. You can find out more about Laurie online and you can check out all our previous feature sessions, our YouTube channel, Feel the Music. If you're a musician yourself, our musician advice videos are up there too. We end, as always, by spreading some love. Please, Laurie, your three favourite Nottinghamshire artists we should all check out. You should all go and check out Johnny Ollie, Elu and Daisy Godfrey. <laughs>